Dia DeWitt and Falcha, welcome back to another episode of Play and Learn. My name is Kathleen and I have so much to show you today. Today we'll be jumping into this book called Too Many Fairies. After that, we'll learn how to make a house for fairies of our very own, and then we'll learn some more Irish words. Are you ready? Let's jump in! There once was an old woman who hated housework. Wash the dishes, sweep the floor, make the bed, do the knitting. One day she began to grumble. Work, work, work. How I hate it. Hate it, hate it. No sooner were those words out her mouth than there came a knocking at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. The little old woman opened the door and rushed in a little fairy. The fairy raced to the sink and began to clatter and bang away at the dishes. Clanky, 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 clanky. Well, if she is going to do the dishes, I will sweep the floor, said the old woman. But still, she grumbled. Work, work, work. How I hate it. Hate it, hate it. And right away she heard, knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. Another fairy ran in, snatched up the broom, and began to sweep the dust all over the house. Swishity, 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 swishity. Well, then I will make the bed, said the old woman, but soon she was grumbling again. Work, work, work. How I hate it. Hate it, hate it. Knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. A third fairy rushed in and began to shake the bedcloths. Flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. Then I will work on my knitting, said the old woman. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Work, work, work. How I hate it. Hate it, hate it. But then, knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. In rushed another fairy and snatched up the knitting. Clankety, clankety, clankety. Swishity, swishity, swishity. Flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. Clickety, clickety, clickety. The old woman was surrounded by rackety fairies. These fairies are driving me crazy, she yelled. Fairies, stop! And suddenly, they stopped. The house was quiet. The bed was made. The floor was swept. The dishes were done. The knitting was finished. Thank you, fairies. Before the old woman could finish thanking them, the fairies began to tear everything apart again. They ripped up the bed covers, dirtied the floor, tore up the knitting, and smeared up the dishes. Then they began all over again. Clankety, clankety, clankety. Swishity, swishity, swishity. Flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. Clickety, clickety, clickety. They will never leave, shouted the old woman. Too many fairies. She rushed to the village wise woman. My house is overrun with fairies. They won't stop working. Oh my, said the wise woman. They've come to help. You haven't been complaining, have you? Well, maybe, at first. Oh no, you'll never be rid of them. Well, here's what you must try. Stand outside your door and shout, Fairies, come quick! Fairies, come quick! The fairies will run out to see what is happening. You must jump back inside the house and lock the door. Then quickly turn everything all topsy-turvy. Broom, dishes, bed covers, knitting. Do not open the door and never complain again. The little old woman did just as she was told. Fairies, come quick, come quick. What? The fairies rushed out to see what was happening. The little old woman ran inside and bolted the door. She stood the broom upside down in the corner. She put the dishes upside down in the sink she tied the bed covers in a knot. She pulled apart the knitting and shoved the needles into her yarn. The fairies were banging on the door. Your luck has come, open the door. Let us in and you'll work no more. The old woman kept very quiet. The old woman did not move. The fairies stirred around and fussed. Broom, come open the door. But the broom called back, I'm upside down, I cannot move. Dishes, come let us in. We're upside down in the sink. We cannot come. Knitting needles, come open the door. We're stuck in the yarn. We cannot get out. Bed covers, get up and come to this door. We're all tangled up. We cannot move. Those fairies began to grumble and growl. Your luck is gone. We will work no more. And they stomped away to their fairy hill. 
At last, all was quiet. The old woman washed her dishes, she swept the floor, she made her bed, then she sat down and began to do her knitting. But soon, work, 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 how I, she stopped just in time, how I love it, love it, love it. I hope you like that story. Now we're gonna learn how to make a house for fairies of our very own, so they won't bother us. I hope you make a house for fairies of your very own. And if you do, I'd love to see a picture of it. You can ask a grown-up to help you share it with us on social media or send it to info at irishchicago.org. Now, let's learn a new word from the Irish language. Today, I'd like to teach you the word for fairy, shiog. Can you say it with me? Shiog. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us today and I hope to see you again next time where we'll read another book and make another craft and learn some more Irish words. Slán, goodbye.